here they have great fruit over there. Uh, the kid, um, Dylan Caldwell from Auburn, he talked to our team and he said the best watermelon he's ever eaten in his life over there. And then uh, I've heard that their breakfasts are incredible. So looking forward to that. Do you feel like this group is ready to, for this trip? I mean, have you, have they been together enough? Now they need kind of a different look, different test? Um, I think the time together is going to be important. Yeah. We, we got to figure out we have, need some people to take leadership roles, understand what that looks like in, in different aspects, and just to see who can step up to the plate. What's your strategy in each of these games you play? Are you looking to spread out minutes? Are you looking to win? How do you approach each one? Man, I, I want every guy to come back and think he's going to play 30 minutes and uh, got a major role on the team because uh, in this day and age of the portal and all of that, uh, um, last thing you want is uh, to lose a kid after a foreign tour. Could we know how important your faith is to you and some of the guys have talked about it. So going over to a place like Israel, how did that location come about? And um, I, I know that that has to be obviously important to, to, to your team. No, well, for me personally, it's a bucket list, um, something that I've wanted to do. Um, it came about because uh, uh, Lee Miller, and Daniel Posner with uh, Athletes for Israel reached out to us about it. it was actually we were actually going to Greece, and um, and so when this came about, it it was just something that you couldn't turn down. Who's really impressed you during some of the workouts on this team? Really impressed. Uh, Cam's work ethic, like he just is carrying himself differently. Um, you can just uh, you can see like some of that Marquise Noel living in the gym, really focused about what he's doing has uh, rubbed off on him. Uh, that's been great. Day Day, it has been really good. I mean, he's another kid uh, that I mean, he just lives in the gym, and so the that that's both of those guys have been really impressive. How about Naquan? Have you seen a difference? since he's finished up the NBA draft stuff? Well, the, he has a different confidence about him, um, you know, because he he's so close to doing what he wants to do, but, I mean, yet it's so far away, you know, and so he's got to think about just doing the right thing every day, want to know, and his, his strength, um, him uh, ga gaining weight and being focused on that and just is going to be important to him. So. so when you guys go over for your trip, I know you talked about all the together time that you're going to have. Who plans out all that other stuff besides the basketball? Is it you? Is it a collective from the staff? Or how does that? No, that the, the company that's bringing us over, uh, Lee Miller's group, um, they have everything scheduled for us and things that we're going to get to see. And, um, you know, it's the birthplace of three religions, and we're going to experience a little bit of each religion and learn about it. We've got, um, we've had two people come in and talk to us uh, from today was, uh, we learned about the, the Jewish culture and faith, and uh, a couple of days ago it was the, the how the Christian faith is there in Jerusalem, and you know, the whole thing with Jesus and how everything is, you know, the, the city's divided. And and then I think on Monday, um, we have an imam coming in to share about the Islamic faith and how its presence is there in Jerusalem. And, you know, and, and so that we learn, that we culturally, culturally we learn about each one, but we also want to be, like when we're there, be able to be respectful uh, of everyone. I, you know, I told our staff, I mean, we got three things on this trip. Is every kid comes back and still wants to be part of this program. Uh, number two is that when we're in public, uh, we do anything that we represent K State in a way that we bring, uh, we shine the best light on representing K State and how we conduct ourselves. And the number three is that we have a great time together. And so th those are the three things about. It. You got one new team coming to the conference for sure in Colorado. Maybe some more on the way soon. Do you have any thoughts on this and the conference growing right now? Well, 
it's a whole lot better thinking about the conference growing than wondering whether you're going to be in a conference. And uh, I was at Baylor when the last time it happened and we were wondering, you know, I mean, obviously there was going to be a place for certain schools, but we weren't sure where we would be at. And, uh, and I'm sure our fan base, we've experienced that uh, during that same time too. So right now, uh, being a part of an expanding conference, a growing conference, uh, one of the top three conferences in the country. And um, man, I'm like, let's go get them all, you know, like <laughs> really. And, uh, and let, let's, I can't really say what I want to say because I might mess up some stuff, but uh, I'm excited about uh, some of the schools that are coming in and, and the potential of other schools to come too. One of the guys who's responsible for that is obviously the commissioner of this conference, and he set up the event at, at Rucker Park. I know you guys were up there. What was that like for you and some of the <clears throat> visions that the commissioner uh, has? Well, um, Brett is cutting edge. Like, he is, like, he's a go-getter, and he's got a ton of great ideas, and, and it's fun to be uh, a part of something that is always pushing the needle. And you know, and wanting to be the first, and and not just following what everybody else is doing, and and I, I love that about him. And uh, the event in Rucker Park was it was a terrific idea, and it was extremely well executed, except for rain. I mean, it was terrific, and I, I look forward to being a part of that. I look forward to being a part of, you know, games in Mexico and uh, some of the other things that that we have planned. And. I mean, I want to spread the brand all over the world, and that's what we're going to do when we're in, we're in Israel. And, uh, you know, we'll hopefully play some good basketball and, uh, you know, just people get to see what terrific young men we have on this team and, and just spread the K-State brand across the world. you got some roster spots you still can fill if you want to heading into the next season. How are you approaching that right now? We are, we are actively looking for the right two guys to be a part of our program. And uh, if we find them, uh, we can be really, really good. If we don't find them, we have an NCAA tournament team. And uh, so it's, um, but our goal is not just to go to the NCAA. What's impressed you about Tyler uh, in terms of his leadership and experience? Um, well, Tyler's a winner, right? And so I know he knows how to win. Uh, and he's a terrific kid and and so people like him and he likes people to like him and uh, but part of being a leader is that you can't always people aren't always going to like you and that's something that he's going to have to learn and uh, he wants to get to the NCAA tournament he's never done that before and I want to be a part of helping that happen and and part of that happening will be him being comfortable not being liked uh, in order to get the team to be the best that they can be. How did the uh, game with USC in Las Vegas kind of come about? How eager were you to kind of participate in that? Um, well, they were actually presented with two other teams, and uh, they didn't want to play those two other teams. And so um, I thought it was kind of interesting that they were excited about playing us. So, and, you know, to open the season with that kind of game on national television, uh, I mean, you know, I, I, it, it's, it takes people a long time to get those kind of opportunities. So we're blessed for it to happen so quickly in, you know, our time here. And, and so anytime we have those type of opportunities, we want to put our brand out there and, and let the kids and the country see uh, what we do here at K-State. Coach, I have a couple of questions from some other media. that couldn't be here. Um, can you talk about um, like athletes for Israel and their mission and kind of how you got involved with them. Yeah, you know, so uh, last year in the NCAA tournament, um, I, I'm very outspoken about my faith and, and given the opportunity, I, I take joy in sharing what's important to me. And But also we had Bebe and Ish on our team who are both uh, Muslims and uh, we provided opportunity for those guys to um, observe Ramadan, to, to go to the mosque, for prayer and and you know be able to share their faith because this is about it's not about you know what you believe it's about loving people right and so um, 
Daniel Posner and Athletes for Israel and some of the other um, sports organizations there in Israel that represented different uh, religions saw how we conducted ourselves and said, man, that's that's what we want because we want to be able to build unity through sports. And so that's what attracted us, uh, them to us. And so we're, we're excited about this opportunity, man. Whenever you can go to a play, we're gonna be the first us in Arizona, the first colleges to ever play in Abu Dhabi. And we're part of with that Abraham Accord that allows now communications between Israel and Ab Al Arab countries and uh, now allows flights, right? Like no college team has ever flown from Israel to an Arab country and we get to do that. And so anytime you get a chance to be, you know, a first in something and, uh, you know, and be part of building peace, um, I mean, that that's exciting. Last one, is there any particular aspect of the trip that the players seem most excited about? I, I'm not sure yet. I haven't, uh, like, we're, we're learning so much information, you know, and uh, we're finding out so much of how culturally diverse Israel is. And uh, I what I hope is that when we go there, we have the type of experience I expect us to have and we represent ourselves the way that uh, we expect to represent ourselves, that um, our players will be able to talk positively about their experience, that other people will wanna visit uh, those countries also, and uh, that we do such a good job that they wanna have us back. Anything else for Coach? Yeah, well, one more, I know you took Baylor, uh, Italy trip one year. How did the season go after that? Was it uh, a nice springboard for you in the season? Um, yeah, we uh, lost our second game of the season to Washington in Alaska and then won 23 in a row <laughs> from there and then COVID hit. So, so yeah, so that was some good and bad. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was, did, did the, the foreign trip help us? Yes, it definitely helped us. Um, and so, and the season was actually going really terrific. And then, you know, COVID hit, so it didn't particularly end the way it wanted to, so. But these trips are incredible for team building uh, and, and it's great, the educational part of it. Um, and, you know, you could, we could go to, you know, Cancun or the Bahamas and play a few games and stuff, but you, know, you get a chance to, you know, help your guys experience something that they may never get to do again, uh, you, you have to take the opportunity to do that.